Hello, Facebook. It is Miss Allison Brandon, the founder and director of Wonderland Performing Arts, coming at you every day at 2, every weekday at 2, um, for a series of things that I uh, like to do and talk about and encourage you to do at home, which encourage creativity, because that's what we're all about at Wonderland, is performance and creativity. And today, I have a very special guest with me. Her name is Lila. I'm going to bring her on. Hi, Lila. <laughs> Feels good to get applause, even if it's a sound effect, right? Cheesy sound effects. Cheesy sound effects. Cringy. Um, so Lila and I are here for our weekly virtual virtues. Lila loves the virtues, and I love them too. And so I'm so excited that she's joining me again for another virtue. And the virtue that we chose today is... Creativity. Creativity! Why'd you choose creativity, Lila? Because I consider myself a very creative person. I like to do like little crafts sometimes, and I really enjoy drawing. Perfect. Creativity comes in all shapes and sizes, huh? You can be creative in so many ways. You can be a creative business owner, a creative doctor, a creative secretary. Baker. Baker. You can be creative in all kinds of ways. So it doesn't just apply to the arts. Um, but the arts do help us become more creative people, no matter what we do in our lives. So it's super important, and it's very educational. And I'm excited to be sharing uh, creativity with everyone at home today and to be encouraging you to be creative. I'm going to take a second to find my little chat bubble here, my comment bubble, rather. We got a thumbs up. Thanks, guys. If you're here watching... Make sure that you let us know you're here and that you comment so that we can have a conversation with you as we go through creativity. Hello, mother. <laughs> Thanks for joining us every day. My mom is like our biggest fan. Thanks, mom. Um, the first, uh, well, so just to walk you through, if you haven't tuned in for Virtual Virtues before, I use this book. It's called The Family Virtues Guide, and it's simple ways to bring out the best in our children and ourselves. It's by Linda Coblin Popov with Dan Popov, PhD, and John Kaplan. And I like this book a lot because it tells us as grown-ups in the front how to use the book. And then in the back of the book, there are 52 virtues um, that are pulled from all sorts of different sacred texts. So it's not just, um, it's not, it's not religious-based, but it is definitely very spiritual, and it pulls from not only the Christian Bible, but other sacred texts as well. So it's very inclusive, and I think it's just got something for everybody in it. Um, it, it just encourages you to be your best self, which is what I want to encourage people to do. So thanks to the authors for writing this, because it's a super cool tool, and we're going to use it. Um, Lila chose creativity today, and I'm going to read the little verse at the top. It is from Romans. It's from the Christian Bible, and uh, it's from Romans chapter 12, verse 6. It says, let us use the different gifts allotted to each of us by God's grace. Let us use our gifts. Yes, absolutely. Um, what is creativity? Lila, do you want to take that first little paragraph? Sure. You are a new creation. No one has ever been born who is just like you, with your special combination of gifts and talents. Creativity is a way to use your gifts to bring new things into the world. Creativity is a way to use the spark of God within you. Beautiful. Creativity is expressing new ideas and inventions, new kinds of music, dance, and art. It is a way to let the light of originality within you shine out for the benefit of others. Creativity connects us with beauty. Creativity is a power of an ab in ab imagination. It's the... It is seeing old things in new ways, doing things in a way that has not been done before. Right. Why should we practice creativity? So what's cool about this book is that it breaks each virtue down into the same, um, I guess, practices. It's sort of like a meditation on each virtue. So like the first page, it says, what is it? Second page always says, why practice it? And then the third page is how do you practice it? And the fourth page is let's check in and see how we're doing. So we're going to talk about why we practice it next. Without creativity, there would be no advancement in the world. That's powerful. Wow. 
things would just stay the same. Without great ideas, there would be no new inventions. We would just keep doing things as they have always been done. We would still just be riding donkeys to get somewhere instead of taking a plane, train, boat, or car. Without music, art, and literature, life would be dull and boring. Listening to beautiful music uplifts people's souls. Wonderful dances, paint, paintings, sculpture, sculptures, and drawings have the same effect. When artists create, when artists create, they bring joy to the world. I agree. When we share our ideas with one another, things can be improved. When scientists are creative, they come up with cures for diseases. I'm sure there's a lot of scientists. Right now. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of scientists doing that right now. Thanks, science. You want to read the last part? Every, every person can serve the world by learning about arts and science. We, we please our creator when we practice the gift of pre creativity in our lives. Awesome. How do you practice it? Let's find out. I mean, I think you and I practice it, but we want to make sure, right? You practice creativity by developing your gifts to the fullest. First, find out what they are. Notice what you like to do. Take time for dreaming. Then learn how to develop your gifts and talents so that you will get better and better. Go ahead, Lila. Creativity is a discipline in the service of vision. When you have a vision of something you want to create, you need to make it real. It could be a story, painting, dance, song, or new invention. Learning how to draw or play an instrument or taking dance lessons gives you a discipline to be creative. Yeah. Creativity is also working in a bakery and producing bread that tastes especially good. It is doing the familiar a little better than before. Creativity leads to an improvement. Practicing creativity means that you means things your means doing things your own way rather than copying other people. Creativity is a way to use what the creator has given you to serve the world. Right on. Um, okay, so the next section in each of these virtues is um, like kind of making us think outside the box a little bit. And um, no answer is wrong, but it gives you a series of five questions to answer and reflect on. So it says, what would creativity look like if, and then it gives you five questions. So the first question is, if you wish to play, if you wish you could play in the school orchestra, what would creativity look like? It could look like finding, like making up a piece of music to audition. Yeah, finding out when auditions are. Um, what if you don't play an instrument, but you wanna play in the orchestra? You can learn. Probably like visualize yourself playing different instruments and then choosing the one that interests you the most and then maybe trying it on, seeing how it fits, right? Awesome. Right. What would creativity look like if you get an idea for designing a new toy? It could be sketching it out. Yep, getting it out of your brain and onto paper. Or maybe it like, could be, hmm? It could be sculpting it could or like sculpt making it out of clay. Sure, what if, um, what if you kept it inside your brain and you didn't do any of those things? Well then nobody would do anything, nobody would know about it. Nobody would know about it, right? So you gotta like get it out of your brain some kind of way. You could write about it or you could talk to someone about it. And then maybe that conversation would lead to another conversation, which might lead to, I don't know, putting you in touch with a toy maker that could actually make it a reality. But if you keep it to yourself and you don't do anything with it. Nobody's gonna know about it. Nobody will know about it, right. Um, what would creativity look like if the method you use to clean up your room takes too long? You could come up with another method. Mm-hmm. Are there some methods that you use to like do boring things that make them a little bit more interesting or? I like music personally because I really love music. Yeah, I used to do that too. Like when I like to, well, and I still do when I'm like doing dishes or I'm cooking or I'm cleaning something up, I always 
put music on and it, just kind of like dance around while I'm doing it so that it's not so boring. <laughs> right? Um, you could also, I'm thinking maybe, I mean, maybe not right now because of like quarantine and stuff, but like you could say, hey, friend, come over, help me clean my room and then I'll go over and help you clean your room. And then you could team up and it wouldn't be so boring because you'd have each other and it could go quicker. And then both your rooms would be clean. That's a way to be creative. I wonder if there's another one. It is. You think your dog could help you clean your room? Nope. Probably make it worse, huh? <laughs> if she had hands, then she could. I don't have any thumbs. Um, okay, what would creativity look like if you wonder if you could write a poem? Think about a topic. Sure, that's and a great place to start. Find out the words that you want to use. Yeah. And then write it out. Give it a go, right? Try it. I think a lot of people get in their own way. You know, we talk ourselves out of things a lot. We'll have an idea and then we're like, oh, that's not a good idea. Or, oh, I'll get judged if I do that. Or, um, oh, so-and-so won't think I'm cool. Or, you know, we, we think all these thoughts, but really... We're just, they're just thoughts. It's not the truth, right? So definitely just giving it a go and get, and trying. That's, that's the way to be creative. Um, and the last one is, what would creativity look like if a friend is having a birthday party and you don't want to spend a lot of money on a gift? You don't have to buy anything, but you could just give them money. Well, yeah. So they could buy what they want. You could That's do what that. I usually do. Just give them the money and then they can buy what they want. <laughs> or maybe if you don't want to spend any money on the gift, what, what do you think you could do? You can make a gift. Yep. Make My friend did that for me last year. And sometimes those are the best gifts. We really like Like, those. She made me like a string art thingy. Uh huh. And then I hung it up in my room. Awesome. I you really enjoy it. Yeah, you still have it. It's still in my room. I love when Addie makes stuff. It's super special. Addie's my daughter, for those of you that don't know. Okay, um, so the last page on every virtue is signs of success. So we're going to see if we're being successful, Lila. Um, congratulations. You are practicing creativity when you... Discover your gifts. Use knowledge and training to develop them. Think of new ways to make things work better. Use your imagination. Do things in your own unique way. And take time for dreaming. I'd say we're doing pretty good. Yeah, I'm usually daydreaming. <laughs> you are good at that. Um, <laughs> keep trying. You need more practice when you... Don't believe you have any gifts. Special gifts. Leave your gifts undeveloped. Don't use discipline when studying a science or art. Do things the way you have always done them. Just copy other people. Use your talents only for yourself. Are you being creative at home? Are you guys being creative? I hope so. It's super I'm fun. I'm not to be doing creative. well on the last one. I'm usually just keeping them for myself. <gasps> you gotta share those talents, Lila. I'll share some of them with my friends, but if I, you don't, kiss, I don't do it all the time. Okay, well, keep trying. You need more practice. <laughs> Lila can't see me. Even though we can see her, she can just hear me because Skype is crazy, and we always have a problem with it every single day. But um, she knows what I look like. She knows what faces I'm making of her. All right, let's read the affirmation together. So I'll read a little bit, and then you repeat, okay? Okay. I am an original creation. I am an original creation. I have special gifts, and I am willing to discover them. I have special gifts, and I am willing to discover them. I take time for inspiration. I take time for inspiration. I think of new and better ways to do things. I think of new and better ways to do things. I am happy to be myself. I am happy to be myself. Beautiful. I love it. Oh, I love these virtues so much. They make me so happy. 
Um, so I hope you guys at home are being creative and that you are enjoying our little two o'clock weekday show that we have now. And um, be on the lookout. Make sure you go to our website uh, at the end of the week this week because our goal is to have all of our summer classes that we're offering virtually on our website and we have got some super cool classes coming your way. I'm so excited to share them with you. I'm excited to get you guys signed up and in touch with our amazing staff and we have some very special guests coming to Wonderland. Um, we're calling it Wonderland in Space and uh, we have some really cool special guest teachers that I'm very, 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 very excited about. So stay tuned. We're going to announce all of that and one more thing before we go, it's Lila's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Lila. Do you want me to say thank to you? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> okay, Again, fine. I won't take that as an insult. <laughs> I don't blame you, Lila. It would be super awkward if I like solo saying happy birthday right now. But I am wishing you a very, very happy birthday. And even though you can't see my face, you can go back and watch this on Facebook and you can know that I love you so much and I have a huge smile on my face. Um, and to all of you out there, be smart, be safe, and have a great rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow at two o'clock. Bye. I can turn this off, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs>